Hello everyone! I'm Chef Mom Rosebud. Welcome to my vlog! And today, meron na naman akong masarap na recipe na isi-share sa inyo. This is something that I know Filipinos are aware of or familiar with. Pero ito, itatry kong lutuin as authentic as possible. Pero, mama explain ko sa inyo kung bakit. So, this is called the classic carbonara. Today, I will try to stick as close to the authentic carbonara. Kasi dito sa Philippines, when we cook carbonara, meron ng mga nilalagay ng all-purpose cream, meron ng mga naglalagay ng milk, pero hindi ganun yung classic carbonara. According to my friend, na si Chef Michi, who's now living in Italy, you only need a few ingredients to make authentic carbonara. And those are spaghetti, pecorino cheese instead of parmesan cheese, you also need egg yolks instead of cream. And gumagamit sila ng guanciale. It's a cured meat. Pero wala dito noon. So ang ginagamit natin kadalasan ay bacon or pancetta. And we also need ground black pepper. So for today, yan ang gagawin natin. Okay, so I hope that you're all excited. I'm gonna start cooking already. So meron na tayo dito ang pot of boiling water. Ayan, kumukulo-kulo na siya. Lulutuin ko muna yung ating spaghetti noodles. So pag ako ay nagluluto ng spaghetti, nilalagyan ko ng konting olive oil. Yung mga iba hindi na nila nalagyan. Pero ako nilalagyan ko kasi nakasanayan ko na. And feeling ko kasi it also helps na ma-separate yung pasta noodles para hindi siya magdikit-dikit. Okay, the next thing that what I'm good the next thing that I'm gonna put is salt. So, dati, nung hindi pa ako masyado marunong magluto, pag sinasabing salt, pinch of salt lang. Pero I learned na dapat pag ikaw ay magluluto ng pasta, kailangan ng ilalagay mo na salt, eh madami. Kailangan maglasang tubig dagat siya. <laughs> hindi naman, pero dapat salty. Kasi, ayan, kasi talagang pampalasa to ng ating pasta. So, I'm using rock salt for that. Okay, so since it's boiling already, I'm gonna get our spaghetti. So, syempre, spaghetti talaga ang ginagamit for carbonara. Pero minsan dito sa Philippines, meron na gumagamit ng fettuccine, linguine. Pero sabi nga ni Michi, pag classic carbonara, you only use spaghetti. So, we'll now place it here sa ating pot of water. So, don't break your noodles. Yan. Hindi siya binabali. So, you just let it cook sa water. Okay. So, yan. Yan yun lang siyang lulubog rin naman siya. Tapos, continue mo lang na stir hanggang nakasubmerge na siya fully into the water. There you go. Ayan. So we want to cook this al dente or firm to the bite. So that would take around 8 to 10 minutes. Pag sinabi kong firm to the bite or al dente, ibig sabihin yung pag kinagat mo, yung gitnang part, medyo meron pang yung sa gitna niya, parang medyo matigas-tigas pa ng konti. Kasi ang pasta should always be eaten al dente. Remember that. Pag halimbawa, kahit nagana pa kasarap yung sauce nyo, pag overcooked ang pasta nyo, nako-flop ang dish nyo, I'm telling you. Nung nagsistart ako magluto, nakundan kong kapal pa ka na ganyan. <laughs> Natutuno na yung pasta sa sauce, sa sobrang lutong-luto. There you go. So we'll just wait for this to cook for around 8 to 10 minutes and then drain it. Okay, so let's check if this is done. Tikman muna natin. Pwede na to. Mainit-init lang, so ingat. Hmm. Perfect. Any minute more, eh, overcook na to. So let's drain this first. Okay, so we'll just drain this. Ayan. Yes, my love. Why, Kaden? Are you hungry? Ayan, drain lang natin siya. There you go. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. And then we'll put it again dun sa pot. And let's cook the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so we're back here. Nandito na yung aking pasta or spaghetti. So we'll just let that cool. Not yet, darling. <laughs> so we'll just let that cool. Yes, my love. My Kaden is here. So anyway, what we're gonna do now is cook the bacon. Pero sabi nga na aking friend, si Chef Michi, dapat ay guanciale para talagang authentic Italian carbonara. Pero syempre, may hirap hanapin yan, no? Doon sa mga mommies dyan, we always want na yung mga ingredients are readily available in the supermarket. So wag natin pahirapan ng sarili natin. We could always substitute. So let's just coat the pan with some oil. And I have here chopped bacon. Kaden, do you want bacon? Okay. <laughs> Nagyan natin. Chopped na siya. So, if you could find pancetta, much, much better also. Pero kung wala bacon, okay na yan, mga mom. So, let's just cook this until medyo maging uh, parang medyo yun, super crispy, no? Pero para lang makita nyo na medyo mag-brown yung edges niya. Yan. So, nakita nyo kanina, from the color earlier, na medyo pale, yan, nagkakakulay na siya ngayon, nag-brown na. Mmm! Ang bango! Diba? So, you could actually leave it there lang. For mga 2 minutes. I leave it there while I do the rest of the procedure. Because usually, here in the Philippines, when we do our carbonara, we use all-purpose cream or heavy cream, cooking cream, di ba? Yun yung ginagamit natin na sauce. Pero, the authentic way to do it is just use egg yolks. So, for this recipe, I'm using three egg yolks. There you go. Pusin natin yan. So, this will act as the sauce. Okay, and we have here the wire whisk. And... So, meron ako ditong parmesan cheese. Pero sabi nga ni Chef Michi, dapat ay pecorino or romano cheese. Pero pag wala kayong makita nun, just substitute it with parmesan cheese. There. Okay, so just mix the here into our bowl. Mix, 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 mix. Mix everything. Okay, so this is good. And let's look at our bacon. Maganda ng pagkaluto. Ayan. Set aside na natin to. Let's turn off the heat. Ayan. Sarap. You know, it's very sinful. Pero paminsan-minsan, it won't hurt to indulge. So now, let's get our pot with the pasta. So medyo mainit-init pa siya. Sakto. Let us now get our sauce. Okay, kailangan kasi sobrang konti lang niya. Kailangan makuha natin lahat. Okay. So, let's start mixing it. There you go. So, that will act as the sauce. So, sa mga tao na natatakot na, syempre, eggs yan, no? Bak sabihin nyo, salmonella, hindi naluto yung ating itlog. Kaya, kailangan din, freshly cooked yung pasta nyo. Mainit-init pa dapat. Para, while you're mixing it, medyo naluluto na rin yung ating egg yolk. There you go. Ayan. So, once it's mixed already, we can now add our bacon. There you go. Lagyan na natin yung ating bacon. Huwag tayo magtipid. Lagay natin lahat. There you go. Diba simple? You only need a few ingredients to make this dish. Ayan. And let's add some Freshly ground black pepper. So, wala na siyang salt kasi yung bacon natin medyo on the salty side na rin. There you go. 
mix, mix, mix. And I'm ready to plate. Ayan, plate na natin siya. Okay, so now let's get our carbonara. Plate na natin siya. Okay, don't you wanna try? You wanna try this? It's spaghetti with white sauce. You want? With bacon. Hindi may ligito ito. May ligito yung ano. Yung middle child, si Kyle. Siyang mahilig dito. Every time na magluluto ko ng pasta, itong request niya. What, honey? There you go. And we'll add more of the cheese. Ayan. Kaya importante talaga that when you cook your pasta, there's a lot of salt in it. Kasi alam nyo naman, ano lang magpapalasa dito. The cheese, the bacon, the egg yolk, by the ground pepper. There you go. And let's just chop some greens. Para lang medyo ma-brighten up yung color ng dish natin. So I have here parsley. Medyo parang palanta na yung parsley ko. <laughs> ano ba itsura nito? Kawawa naman. So when you buy your parsley at hindi nyo pa agad gagamitin, what you can do is put some water into a, a glass and then you soak it there. Let's just chop this. Parang pang spring ka lang. Parang may ibang kulay lang siya. There you go. Ayun. Tapos na ang ating medyo classic na carbonara. I don't want to say it's really classic or authentic kasi nga meron ako mga ingredients na sinobstitute. But nevertheless, this is how we cook it. Ang aking classic carbonara. So I hope that you enjoyed watching today. And if you did, please don't forget to like and share my videos. And of course, subscribe to my channel. And to all those who are watching, Click nyo na rin yung nakikita nyo dyan na tiny bell para naman pag mag-upload ako ng bagong video, eh, ma-notify na kayo. See you again next time!